So you guys are literally a Ford family. Seems like it. I don't know how it happened, but yeah, it seems like it. I'm going to yeah. drop off a Chevy just in your driveway. One, it won't be running or anything. I'm just going to drop off. Well, of course, it won't be running. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it's a Chevy. Why? Oh, I thought you meant because I worked on it. Oh shoot! Get out of here. <laughs> no, but yeah, no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, if it sit out there in the middle of the night, the other cars beat it up. I don't know. There's all them boards surrounding it. Maybe. Well, you got kids. You probably seen cars a lot. I mean, you might believe in that stuff. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, Christine <laughs> was a scary movie. Hey, cars do have souls, though. I'm telling you. Funny story. Uh, <laughs> here's a tangent. <laughs> um, so my uh, my Camaro, uh, since I've owned it, um, only two other people have driven it other than me. And only two, well, I shouldn't say only two times, but only two people have driven it and twice it's broken on those people. It's never mm-hmm. it's never really broken on me. One time it died, the Volts regulators it's died. But, left. but so a buddy of mine in uh, 2012 when we redid all the suspension, the brakes and everything, when we did the big rebuild on it, pulled the motor, put it back in and everything that I talked about a little bit recently. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, obviously I had compensated his time in other ways, but, uh, also I was like, I'll, I'll let him drive it here. So we, I got a few drives in and I was like, yeah, you take over. No sooner did he pull out of the neighborhood and the vacuum modulator line fell off the back of my brand new, uh, built transmission. So we, we thought we lost all the gears cause mm-hmm. it wouldn't come out of first cause it didn't know how to shift. And, uh, I mean, I had just let him drive it. Like the first time he'd ever driven it, I'd never, at that time, I'd never let anybody else drive it. He drives, it gets in, we lose the line. It won't shift. Another time, I uh, had an alignment shop align it, and uh, I even asked them, I was like, hey, do you mind if I pull it in? And, and they let me pull it into their shop, let me pull it onto the rack, and went back to the front of the shop. Well, of course, the assholes didn't uh, tell me when it was done. Mm-hmm. So I hear my car coming around the building, which it's whatever, you know, it's their shop. But guy comes around, and he does a full... Uh, full lock to lock 180 in the parking lot which Mm -hmm. is no big deal but it's a hot rod and uh he blows the power steering line so two people have driven that car two people have broken it i'm telling you if that doesn't have a soul i don't know what does yeah well but it's kind of like reverse christine though right because christine fixes herself and then she goes kills the person i hurt him so i mean yeah but she's just got a good soul yeah but christine liked the kid I, i figure my car likes uh me well, yeah, but that's what I mean. It wasn't hurting you. It was yeah. hurting everybody else. Yeah. But it didn't kill him, though. See, Christine would have came out and killed him in the middle of night. Yeah, well, the car hasn't gone after my wife yet, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll find out. Well, it's probably because I give it enough attention. Now, if I ever completely just mothball it in there, maybe they'll well, see what if happens. Well, if its windows start becoming really black tint, you can't see in it anymore, and it sits outside just, just purring for no reason. Yeah. Oh, well, if the car ever starts itself in the middle of the night, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> or maybe it'd be because of my shoddy wiring. Yeah. Yeah, you, you've seen that movie, right? So they at the end they crush that car, right? They, yeah, they crush it down to a cube. Yeah, Christine's a great movie. Great yeah, so movie. why didn't it un, un, why didn't it stretch itself back out? Well, it does, right? Doesn't that movie end with uh, kind of starts moving? The camera's zooming in, it's in a pile, and like the antenna comes up or right? something. And right, and it, it, it kind of makes I think a light or something was it that lit up. Something, something happened. With I think radio. the radio. That's what the radio right. comes yeah. back on. Yeah, folks, if you haven't seen Christine, yeah. go see Christine. Oh, that's it's a good uh, movie. You know, it, and it's actually kind of creepy. I mean, there's some parts like the kid at the end when he's all like zombie looking. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Yeah, when he comes through the window. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've forgotten yeah. about that movie. I haven't yeah. seen that in a while. That's when, that's when he dies, right? Cause he, well, I don't want to give it away, so let's watch it. But Well, shit, it's yeah. too late. <laughs> yeah, because Christine, crum- Christine gets crumpled. Yeah, you gave it away five yeah, minutes that's ago. It. Don't have to watch the movie now. We just told you about <laughs> Siskel and Ebert here about this movie. But, <laughs> but that was, uh, yeah, I mean, I always wondered that about it. Why Why did it just, un- you know, all the things that people done before to it, but this, this magic crusher all of a sudden just kept it, kept it in a queue. Well, that was the one thing about the movie. They never set up why this car was haunted. Because remember, it was on the assembly line, and a guy got in with a cigar. Right, and it was and screwed in. Cigar. Maybe I remember this better than I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he drops a cigar on the seat, and the car, like, smogs him to death. Um, yeah. I guess some but, guy's working on it afterwards. Why didn't he sitting in there, and they shut the doors, lock, and it kills him? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it like, uh, yeah, yeah the car turns on or something, uh, uh, smokes him to death, whatever, but... Uh, and they find he finds us sitting in that guy's junkyard. Remember, so his yeah. brother died or something, and yeah, he finds us sitting in your father-in-law's yard. <laughs> yeah, be what be worth. Does he have any fifty-nine plus? Yeah, no, he don't. But I wish he did. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, oh, man. Every time I go to the car shows, I always seek out those cars. I yeah, know, I always want. But I, I don't really see anybody. I see a lot of clones, but none that actually are that car. You know, but always, I, I like that car. 